Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about the Vietnam War. The war was filled with conspiracy and divide. No war would be more hated in US history. This video we will be talking about to prelude to this very war. One of the most important things in understanding event in history is understanding what caused that event. So without further ado, let's get into it. This story starts in 1858 with the first landings of the Frenchmen in Indochina. The French captured modern day countries of Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam in 15 years with them starting in Vietnam. The decision to invade the in Indochina was by Napoleon, not the famous one. His name, his full name was Napoleon III. He was a very incompetent ruler and wanted France to gain more prestige. And one of the ways he did this was invading Indochina. That was the main reason. At the time, Indochina was called Kul Chin China. To set up the Christian kingdom in Indochina was also a very important factor in doing this invasion. Although Christianity was forced upon the people of Vietnam, it thrived there. Most Europeans' accounts of Vietnam in this period period was it was filled with poverty. The French rulers were as oppressors in the Vietnam colony. No different than any other colony, but in 1890, there was a man born who would change the face of the earth forever. He would have very different names, but the name we know him by in the West is Ho Chi Minh, which rough, roughly translate to the bringer of light. He would have to flee a young age for being against the ruler of French-controlled Vietnam. Although he fled the country, he was always going to say a Vietnamese nationalist. He would travel around the world to many places in Europe, but after reading the works of Lenin and Karl Marx, he became a communist and settled down in China. Then something happened that would put the state of colonialism in jeopardy with the start of World War II. In the war, Japan invaded French Indochina and successfully pushed the free French out of the colony. Although the Japanese were not European colonialists, they were no more welcome than the French were, and the people of Vietnam still wanted their independence no matter who else was ruling over them. That is why in February of 1941, after 30 years of exile, Ho Chi Minh came back to Vietnam for his country to get its independence. He led a militia group to resist Japanese rule. Along the way, he assembled the best and brightest men in Vietnam. Among these men was General Zop. Jop was realized that they could not win outright against the Japanese, so he knew the key to winning was guerrilla warfare. The Vietnam would have to choose their own battles if they wanted to resist the Japanese. Although Zop was brilliant, he did not get much formal of education and was self-taught. Ho realized that he needed more formal training and sent him off to Mao's communist China and a school in it. This would prove to be vital for their victories against the Japanese, French, and American. At the time of this taking place, Ho Chi Minh supporters went under the name Viet Minh, but they were weak and small. They only had a couple hundred girls and they were all poorly armed. The best skin gun that the Viet Minh had was the army's flintlock gun. Uh, on top of all that, the leader was no one special and he was not rich. He, Ho Chi Minh was just an average peasant. They would never succeed if they didn't get support from the people and monetary help. But luckily, they did. 
In the spring of 1945, the Americans had the Japanese on their backs in World War II. They just wanted to finish them off. But one way they went around doing this is getting enemies behind the line in Vietnam. So they reached out to the Viet Minh and Ho Chi Minh. The Americans gave aid in terms of guns, ammunition, and other vital equipment to conduct war. They even sent medics over to go save Ho's life. The American were helpful to the Viet Minh rise to power. They would need to support from the people also, not just the Americans. They say that Zop and Ho would get their support from their countrymen and how they figured out what the best way to do it showed show arm resistance to the Japanese regime. Without the Americans' help, there's no way the Viet Minh could have rose to power over Vietnam. In 1945, during the Japanese occupation of Vietnam, there was a massive famine around Hanoi, which was the largest city in Vietnam. This famine would be dubbed as the Vietnamese Famine of 1935. 45. Yes, historians are just that creative when it comes to naming things. The main reason why this famine started was because of the bombings carried out by the Allies' forces. These bombings were on ports, supply lines, and all this bombing made it impossible to transport food around the country. Another crucial factor for the reason why the country was in such a dire state was because of the Japanese and Vinci French government was self-serving to themselves and they don't consider the Vietnamese people while making their policies. For people who don't know what the Vinci French was, it was Nazi occupied France who was a puppet state of the Nazis. Now, where was I? All right, millions of deaths. The French government used their food to supply their military, which led to the catastrophic famine that killed 2 million uh, Vietnamese people out of 10 million in the affected area. There are far too many counts of the streets being filled with uh, dead and ox parts having come through every day to collect the dead bodies. And mass graves being filled out not far from main towns. These appalling circumstances led to the Vietnamese rise in nationalism and wanting free rule. The Japanese had done nothing to combat the famine. They simply did not care if the people of Vietnam suffered. In response to this unresponsiveness, the Viet Minh and Ho Chi Minh took control of the storehouses and disrupted all food to the people of Vietnam. With stolen food, he gained and strengthened public opinion of the Vietnam, and the nationalists of beliefs of the citizens looked to the Vietnam who were providing uh, food to them, and they would give their allegiance to them. Within their own population who opposed colonial rule, this was a massive success for the Viet Minh. In in all, the Vietnamese famine of 1945 allowed for increased trust and support with the Vietnam, and more importantly, it cr created more nationalistic value of the citizens of Vietnam. This allowed people to be more wanting an independent Vietnam. This was a turning point in Vietnamese history and the start of the rise of the Viet Minh. After the Viet Minh had helped the people of Vietnam, they got a lot of new recruits, and then a major event would happen which would change the world on August 14th, 1945. Second World War had ended and an, with an unconditional surrender by the Japanese. This led to Vietnam being a power vacuum because the Japanese military, which had control it, had weakened their forces in Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh was quick to capitalize on this opportunity, so on August 16th, the National Liberation Committee was formed with Ho Chi Minh as president. Also on August 16th, 
Ho Chi Minh sent out a radio call for having the insurgents of the Vietnamese people rise up against their Japanese foe. This would have another creative name, the August Revolution, because it took place in August. And another day, men captured the largest city in Vietnam, Hanoi. The Japanese troops let the Vietnamese take public buildings without any resistance because they and all they had surrendered and they have no loyalty to just defending it for no reason. The Vietnam had captured a lot of land in the north. However, in the south they had gained much less land. Bodai, the pupper emperor of Vietnam for the French, was sent a message from Ho Chi Minh to resign. He agreed with no other ruler in Vietnam. Someone would have to rise to the claim of the title of Mandarin. So on September 2nd, 1945, the streets of Hanoi were filled with 400,000 Vietnamese, all of them here for a single purpose, to see Ho Chi Minh make history. He got up on a platform in the middle of Hanoi and proclaimed that Vietnam as an independent country from the French. In a speech that would go down in history, Ho Chi Minh borrowed many ideals from the United States of America's Declaration of Independence and Constitution, and stated shortly after the speech that he would rather have a million American soldiers be in Vietnam than one French soldier. How the times would change in less than two decades, these very countries would be out pitted at war against one another. The Americans had created their own worst enemies in the Vietnamese. This was the war that would give the overconfident Americans their first loss in their country's history. This is the war that would cause domestic unrest in the United States like no other in their history. This is the war that will leave a scar on the states that can never be truly recovered from. It was a defining moment in their history and it would outshine all others. It is a war that can never be forgotten.